<clears throat> All right, everyone. I'm going to make a statement tonight. I'm going to make address some things. I'm not answering questions or even reading comments at all. Um, all right. I'm here tonight to address recent events, make appeals, and implore peace. I will start with a discussion today between Lita and a meme maker, talker of shits. I'm sorry, we do not know her name. That's her screen name. <clears throat> so there was a discussion between her and, and, and we'll say talker. The, uh, okay, so she asked a question about some screenshots and Lita replied with, hi, those are some of them from the second old group called Real Elite. I knew who leaked that. She was in my third group chat too, to leak about convention and many things. I was frustrated because she was frustrated because someone said that we didn't get anything get anything for Jennifer Christmas, but in fact we did. She was also frustrated too uh, with a recent YouTube event. And this is this is still her words. What I'm saying is the truth. Da da da. Still talking about the other person and their their YouTube event. At that time, I was thinking to just focus on Jenna, which is not a bad thing. Here's the thing. I'm not going to deny for my screenshots that's on me. But let me tell you something. There are so many groups out there talking shits about me, and what did I do? Did I expose them? No. In fact, i um, not going to go into that. Uh, do they complain about it? No. And here I am. I'm making private group chat that's supposed to be with someone I can trust, but it got leaked. So they can make a group and can trash talk me, and I can't. I don't need you to sympathize me at all. I'm dealing with anxiety and self-harm, depression, that's true. We're supposed to be able to keep what's in private, private. Sadly, someone took advantage of it. We caught it and kicked her out. I'm not perfect. I need to be able to express myself. Doesn't need to be publicly. Reason why I said those. Yes, I was angry. Yes, I was furious. Restraining order was the last thing to do because I'm sick of them talking bad stuff about me. I just want them to stop lying about us because those are not true. And people emotionally invested by her stories and we got the backlash from it. That's not fair at all. I want to share one screenshot of the conversation yesterday along with the new group that I don't want you to share with anyone. Yesterday I had a huge fight with Eric and I told him to shoot me right in the head. And he's left me to work. I had to go to work. He left me to work and he says he's going to boat me back to Indonesia. And I was nothing but angry, angry and depressed. So then there's a screenshot here. Um, in her group, she was saying, just telling me to hang on. And do you think it's going to solve the problem? Because I was telling her to hang on, hang in there. She says, fucking kill me right now. Why do you have to see me suffer like this? Then, you'd li then you're listening. Do I have to end up at the hospital first? Do I have to jump from the second floor? One of her friends said, Lita, if you need to call, you can. Be okay, and then, all right. That's my new group after I kicked the traitor out, the one who's been leaking shit. It was me reacting to Eric's bullshit yesterday to calm down and not listening to me when I needed the counseling. You have no idea what happened yesterday. The people who are still there know everything, how depressed I am. I won't share anything from my private group. It's a lot of my depression, and I don't even think to share it to anyone. Then Talker says, Lita, have you self-harmed? Have you, are you currently? Also, I'm not going to post this conversation publicly. That's not what my page is about. I've been suffering from anxiety and depression, lead to self-harm for years. But my parents, again, never give me any medication at all. Every time I tell them that I need to do counseling, they see me as a crazy person and like I'm not supposed to be depressed. I'm not supposed to have anxiety. You should ask Eric about my self-harming depression because he saw it in his eyes by himself way even before this madness happened. The first time he saw my traits of self-harming depression was when I was still in my country. And now it just goes on because of this show. Yes, she did have an issue, an argument between her and her sister, and it broke out really bad. And I was on the other end of the phone for that. I cut myself was when I was in elementary, and my dad stitched the wound. But after that, he beat the shit out of me. I still have the scar. I got physical abuse for 24 years, start when I was four years old. If I don't have good grades, they will beat the shit out of me. 
There was one time I got bullied because I go to the school with bruises around my face and everyone's making fun of me. Then I came home and I just grabbed the knife and stabbed my left hand. My parents freaked out at me. My dad ended up stitching the wound, but he beat me up again after he did that. Nobody needs to know about this. I'm a joke for them. Nobody even believed I received death threats. So there's no use. I'm not perfect. These things that I have said in the groups, yes, those are my words. That group is supposed to be my place that I can express anything in my mind. Sadly, someone betrayed my trust and leak it. But it is what it is. They don't know me. They're not willing to know me. I can't control them. What I'm trying to do right now is fixing what was broken. That's what we're trying to do. At least we're trying. This has to end. Not only me that is hurting, Eric too. Even Tasha too. So sad everyone's using her stories to backlash me and my son. He is innocent. This is Talker. Lita, I can't understand why no one is helping you get the proper counseling and medication. This is fucking serious. You need help. That's clearly nothing to be ashamed of. But if you're having trouble accessing, navigating how mental health care in the U.S., then your husband needs to help you now. And I'm working on it. Do this now for yourself. For Alice, call TLC. Let them know you need help now. Let them find you a provider for you. TLC has been in response, and they will get back to us tomorrow. I did talk to the producer named Harry, our field producer, to get me a counseling because, yes, they provide it. They will come back at me on Monday. They need to get back to you first thing tomorrow morning. I've never had any medication at all, never went to counseling, just once when I was in Japan. I talked to my friend who's working on base as chaplain, and that's it. He said, I've been suffering from anxiety and self-harm depression, which is right because I've realized the traits like a long time ago. I used, this is Talker, I used to take medication for anxiety. It helped me a lot. I hope you try it. You're a doctor, so as you know, it won't work overnight and may take a few months to feel the full effects. But with medication and some therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, etc., you'll feel so much better. Do you have anyone you can trust to talk to in person, a friend? Just a few of them, like two people that I constantly talk. Do you trust them? Are they supportive? Since everything got leaked, I've been having trust issues with people. Why I block everyone who's requesting to follow me, they're so obsessed. Yes, those two people, yes, I trust them. Okay, good. I'm glad you trust them. Does Eric support you getting therapy and taking medication you need? First, he's just saying, hang on and hang on. And when I was attempting to kill myself, then he's starting to listen. Shouldn't have taken at that serious sort of approach to wake him up. What are you doing? Intentionally overdosing? Cutting? Are you okay right now? Are you in a place emotionally where you're not sure if you're going to hurt yourself? Please be honest. I found out Johnny Yates posted stuff about me and want nothing but making me look bad. He didn't post that I was mad at him to make Tasha look bad. Speaking of which, I meant to unblock, she blocked Johnny on my account. I meant to unblock him. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. I, yeah. Um, then there's a screenshot here of a discussion between the two. And now he's posting the one that Tasha wanted him to post. Hmm. I know he's a snake. He's been two-faced me all the time. People like him never care about anything. We are all suffering from this, and he just want to stay relevant. Disgusting. Ugh. Last time he said about me, I blocked him too. Too much toxic. There's a screenshot here between those two. Just keep away from anything toxic. Instagram is a dangerous place for you right now. I know that snake move. He needs to understand I couldn't believe him anymore because he's betrayed me, but he doesn't realize that. Oh, well. Did you call the police? I just want to... In here, Talker called the local PD to come check on Lita. She was concerned. This was today while I was at work. Lita says, did you call the police? I just want to say thank you. I'm worried about you, Lita. I don't ever want to see something happen to you. You've told me a lot of very dark things, and I have a responsibility as a fellow woman, mother, etc., to see that th though for you, through for you. And if you are in danger in any sort of way, well, how can I ignore that? I did not send the cops there, however. I did reach out to some people that could make sure you were checked on. Okay, so that's what happened. I hope that doesn't upset you, but that's what someone with a heart does. No, it helps a lot. Thank you. Thank you. You did the right thing. May I know your name? You did the right thing. So thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you get the help you need and deserve to have. Nothing is ever that bad that's worth dying. You can and will get better. Okay, and then that's the end of the conversation. And actually, I need to do something here before continuing on.
User not found. Why is it not found? Unblock. There we go. Okay. I don't know why Johnny Yates... He must have blocked me then. Shit. Well, I hope somebody gets this to Johnny Yates. Um, <sighs> moving on. So yes, the police were called today. Somebody, they came and showed up. They have given her somebody to call. They checked on her. Moving on. With that being said, I want to address the recent leaks from a private chat group she has. Lita has been bombarded by some of the most vile and indescribable comments and messages sent her way for two months at a minimum. We tried to address these messages and respond with appeals to people's better nature. That only made things worse. She then responded to it by memeing the people attacking her. That only stirred the pot. She literally has no outlet for any kind of pent-up anger and frustration. The private group chat was meant to be that. Support from those on our side. The thing said in this private group was never meant to see the light of day. It was an outlet. You can all hate on her for what she has said there, but none of you are free of guilt or sin. How is shit talk in a private group never meant to be released any different than all of you doing it in your little private accounts and group social media towards her. Do I agree with the shit talking about my ex-wife and daughter? No, I do not. I have addressed it with her, and I will be addressing it with a group this evening on a conference call. However, I also understand the importance of being able to vent. As long as it was private, no blood, no foul. It was not bullying, it was not harassing, it was shit-talking to vent. None of you have the right to cast stones, ever. To Johnny Yates, I wish to say this. I apologize and I ask for you and her to take a step back, take a breath, and calm down. I do not have anything against you. I believe you have been a friend. I have repeatedly told her that you have been supportive, or at least level-headed and balanced. She does not have an upbringing that allows for a gray area, sliding, or dynamic scale of judging things said about or towards her. She sees everything in black and white, and some of the posts you have done she has taken as an attack, and she has seen you as an enemy or at minimum taking advantage of our friendship. Again, I'm working on this with her to build thicker skin and not take everything so personally. For all you haters out there, you are the very thing you accuse her of. You sit there, as I stated above, and talk trash about her in your private groups. You plot and plan against her and her personal ventures. You have even sent stuff in the mail, which does constitute harassing. You tag her and I in order for us to see your vile comments, and you think that you have the right to do this without response, without consequences? You do not. You all accuse her of bullying because she memes you for tagging her in hateful and vile comments. One meme per person per comment. Get real. Nobody and I mean nobody was memed without reason, without having struck at her first. Let me explain something for you. The freedom of speech clause of the First Amendment only applies to speaking out against the government. It only applies to readdressing grievances with the government. You do not have the right to speak freely against other people as long as they don't want you to. They, that only goes as far as them until they stop you, okay? <clears throat> you do not have the right to be heard by anybody but the government for your grievances. You do not have the right to be heard by any private citizen. You can speak all you want, but you do not have the right to be heard. You have to earn that right to be heard. None of you have the right to speak freely about a private individual without being related, retaliated back against. All of you get so emotionally invested in a TV show. A TV show. What the hell is wrong with you people? And now to Tasha. I appeal to you to come to the peace table. Let us, you, your sister, let me rephrase that. Let me, you, your sister, and if need, if she wishes, your mother, Come sit down and discuss what we feel was done against each other. Let us hash this out and end this before it goes any further. 
We are both guilty on both sides. She has apologized as well. Now we must figure out what each party has been guilty of, and I wish for us to publicly apologize to each other for what we determine we have done to each other. Like I said, both parties have guilt here. I also am very aware of, of you having been attacked by your supposed fans for at least defending something that deserved to be defended. We both thank you. Your fans are anything but. We are family. And I will, I will, rele I will read a message that Lita sent me today. Hmm. It's on that phone. I can't. Basically, she said that she wants us to resolve this. I will add it as an amendum after this. Um, after this live, I will go live again with the, the other phone, and I will read that message. <clears throat> so, stand by one. <clears throat> All right, everybody, if you just give me a second here to find what she texted me earlier today. She texted me. I care about your kids. It hurts me when we have to deal with this shit. Please reach Tasha. Tell her you love her. Tell her I care about her. Tell her I am sorry. I am sorry for what I've done to her. Please don't see me as a threat. She doesn't need to trust me or fake anything to me. She doesn't need to talk to me, but I'm open if she wants my help. Meaning, Tasha, You don't have to, if you don't like her, you don't have to fake that you do. I would love to help her. I remember she plans to make my costume, and I would love to use that costume she makes in the future for judging at LionCon. And I hope she can join the contest when I judge. She's not implying that she would pick her. She'd be fair. I'm getting too emotional because my family keeps saying I'm crazy. I'm crazy, and I'm not supposed to get anxiety, and I'm not supposed to get depression. I just can't win that at all. We are all need to do a public apology, and I still need to go to the counseling. Tasha and I are supposed to be best friends because we have so many things in common. She needs to realize that. We both can help each other. I just want Tasha to stop living in denial, back to reality. All those people use her story to tear us apart. Real queens fix each other's crowns. <clears throat> Now, there, I've laid it all out. The ball is in your court. I implore you to see reason, and for the rest of you, thank you and good night. Enjoy the tell-all, and I'm sure a lot of you are going to go apeshit over it. <clears throat> 